During the night, a fertilizer plant in West Texas exploded into a fireball. Now, it leveled uh, apartment buildings, houses, businesses, several blocks around, around the fertilizer plant. Uh, all in all, hundreds of buildings and several blocks were destroyed, like I said. It injured 200 people and killed 14. Now, many people are looking at the lack of oversight um, as being the cause of the West Texas plant explosion. Now, getting into that, they were cited for a series of safety violations. Between 2002 and 2007, Texas regulators invested the facility seven times, one of which resulted in a violation for operating without a required air permit. Air permit. However, OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, had not been able to inspect the plant since 1985. That is a long time. So why didn't OSHA uh, inspect the plant? OSHA has so little manpower and so little funding that according to an article that I read in the Washington Post, that it can only inspect plants like West, like the West Texas plant an average once every 129 years. Can you believe that? Due to underfunding, OSHA has only 2,218 regulators at both the federal and state level that must cover 7.5 million businesses that employ over 130 million workers. That is why they can only inspect a plant every 129 years. However, the cause of the fertilizer plant is still not known. However, another glaring violation that may have been a factor in this, according to a Reuters report, West was storing 270 tons of ammonium nitrate. Now, ammonium nitrate is a bomb making, uh, you can make a bomb from it, okay? And it was one of the main ingredients used by Timothy McVeigh in the Oklahoma City bombing. The amount of ammonium nitrate was over three was over 1,350 times the amount that can be stored without having to disclose it to the Department of Homeland Security. Also, according to writers, the plant did not have sprinklers, fire alarms, shutoff valves, or legally required blast walls. Attorneys for the West Texas plant also reported that the plant carried only a $1 million insurance policy. The total damage of the explosion is estimated to cost over $100 million. Now, despite that, the millions of dollars in damages, the rampant safety violations, as well as the human toll, the media coverage of the West Texas plant was limited at best. According to Media Matters, between April 20th and April 23rd, CNN did not report once on any of the safety violations, in it, despite airing 24 segments about the plant explosion itself. Fox News actually fared slightly better than CNN because it featured one segment out of 23 that alluded to reporting violations. So Fox News beats CNN in reporting? Really? And, of course, you would think that the liberal MSNBC would be miles ahead of both CNN and Fox. However, MSNBC featured just 16 segments total on the West Texas plant explosion, and only one of those mentioned violations. Lack of reporting on the violations and even limiting airtime to report instead on the, of course, incredibly tragic Boston bombing it really shows the attention of the media is not quite where it should be. Now, despite Boston being a horrible act of terrorism, the number of those killed in West Texas explosion actually outnumbered those killed in Boston. In fact, in the year 2011 alone, 4,609 Americans were killed in workplace accidents, but only 17 people were killed by terrorism.
as Ken Ward Jr. of the Charleston, West Virginia Gazette had tweeted, quote, terrorists want media attention, so we give it to them. Unsafe industries don't want media attention, so we give that to them. Absolutely 100% right on that tweet.